Hello, my people of the internet. Today we are going to actually, you know, have set up our video model. Actually, the things that we want to do. Okay, it's going to be pretty fun. So first of all, before having the video upload system going on, what do we want to do? We want to create a few models, a few structures. First structure name is going to be for just the video itself. Let's see, video dot JavaScript. Another one is going to be called as uh, maybe video likes or JavaScript. Another one will be comments dot JavaScript. Another one will be comments dot comments like the JavaScript. So why why do we have different structure for the likes itself? Well basically if someone is going to like a video we don't want him to like the video a limited times. So we only want him to like one time. So basically, once he likes this video, we need to save his ID somewhere with that video ID that he's liking, and then that will be a, you know, his particular like ID, his specific like ID. And by that, we can do another thing. We can also make some section for the like like a video section. And yeah, I think that will be pretty fun, also, right? Uh, do we need to make another section for subscribers? Let me think about that one. Uh, subscribers, um, just give me a moment. So we're gonna make a different uh, structure for the subscribe also. Subscribe. Dot js. Oh, dot ks, not a ks thing. Dot uh, js. Comment dot js video subscribe video likes comment like video like I'll just uh, make it like you know singular thing okay so we have a lot of things right there and now we have to set them up let's first of all set up the video structure when I say constant uh, mongoose is going to be for the okay I think there is some kind of lag because of many things being used in the background. Oh whoa! Closing the software just gave me life back. Mongoose. Uh, constant video schema is going to be equal to new mongoose.schema. And what is the video going to have? Well, it's going to have quite a few things. It's first of all going to have a, a video ID, in like a video path. So the link of the path <laughs> that the video file will be located. It's going to be type string. It's required is true, and it has to be unique. Okay. Then with the uh, thumbnail path. Just a thumbnail. Video and thumbnail. Video part seems much better. They like more defining the thing what we are having. Okay, required. Unique is true. Okay. Then we have likes, type number, required, and default is going to be zero. And same goes for the dislikes one also. Default zero. And we will not be including comments here because we're going to make a different table for that one. And the subscribers. Subscribers type number default going to be zero. Then we will have owner type is going to be string. Required is true. Unique is true. 
a video can uh, uh, owner can be uh, unique is true no uh, owner can upload multiple videos so he cannot be unique right so I think this is about the video schema we don't need much of our different things right um maybe maybe we might we may want to store the video length also somewhere like how long is the video what's the total length of the video right yeah we need to store that thing also would say maybe video length type is number type is string required true and uh, yeah we I was also thinking about doing you know something like when you hover your mouse over some video it just it should show you some screenshots of the video like going by going by going by but I think we will upload it we know we will add that feature in the future but yeah feature feature time stamps going to be true same module that export is equal to mongoose dot model with the name of videos video schema alrighty so we have the video schema there now we need to set up the video like and say kind of the same thing on the top video like schema and here we'll have first of all our video ID type is going to be string but is going to be true then we'll have the user ID liker ID who is liking the video type is going to be string but is going to be true unique is going to be true no except the unique feature we're gonna have other things required Alrighty, so we have the like ready, then we will have the video like. How many likes we have? Ready. Timestamps, true. We'll just say model of dot exports for now. We we'll later on see. We'll use the model. Video likes. Video like schema. We we'll later on see if we need something else. Basically, I'm just saying. Whoever is liking the video we will get that user's ID and the video ID and then yeah we'll store that somewhere just to make sure you know it's kind of unique stuff like that maybe. Okay, so we're gonna just copy the same thing. Same goes for the comment here, except it's going to be the it's going to get the video ID, like ID, and uh, comment ID, which comment is being liked. Type string required true. Comment like schema. Comment likes. Then we got the comment itself. This is going to be comment schema. Basically, comment schema is going to just have a video ID and the commenter ID. Who is commenting on the thing? Reply ID. All so basically, reply ID is going to be default. No, so we're gonna have two structured replies in our comment systems. Like one can reply another's comment, and once you reply someone's comment, it is going to be get inside some kind of structure like this. We'll have a reply ID, like he's replying to some comment ID. Okay. 
by default is going to be null if he's replying to some commit ID we'll add that reply ID in here say comment reply ID and do we need any, do we need anything else the video ID the commit ID the commit reply ID and the com video uh, the commit ID will be generated by default the timestamps we have here comments then we have the subscribe thing subscribe schema we will have not the video ID we will have the owner ID or owner of the video and the subscriber ID who is subscribing required is true I guess that's it we need bring those two things whoever is subscribing to the YouTube channel if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet subscribe by watching this video <laughs> okay good subscribers okay so subscribers are going to store in the different collection we would have a quite a few collections to be honest I'm not sure how these things are going to, you know, stand together, but I'm pretty sure we are going to find a way. If I do node mod, if I open my here, this one, I go to Alani two, I do refresh. Okay, so basically they are not connected somewhere, otherwise they would have created themselves an entry for themselves. So now we need to set up our video loading stuff right so we are basically going to send using this video upload system using constant form data form data here we need to say form dash data okay it's going to send up a video we are having video with the video with the name of video and title with the name of title thumbnail with the name of thumbnail description with the name of description let's go to that's only a key with that open and let's go to authentication controllers. We want to say video uh, okay. Basically, controllers is going to have only the controls of the thing, right? Uh, video upload js constant video upload is going to be an asynchronous function, it's going to have the request and the response. We're gonna have a few more things. We're gonna have constant multi is equal to require uh, multi. Okay. JWT is called to require JSON web token. Okay, do we need JSON web token? Yeah, we need. Uh, yeah, we need. Yeah, we need. We need. We need. We need it. Oh, we can do another thing. We actually don't need the JWT, right? I'll show you how we can do something like in the authentication. We're having the verify token. We're saying request. Re Next, you can say before saying it, request dot user ID is going to be equal to. Um, now we need it. Access token. If error or if decoder dot type is not equal to access, then we want to return now, right? I'll return this. Good. Here we're gonna check for the things if he's logged in or not. Not actually logged in. We wanna just uh, get his ID. Just that. You can even get the ID here also in the verify thing. Okay, let's just get here. Let's just say request dot user ID is going to be equal to our 
uh, user id dot id so what is going to happen it is going to we're going to set a new uh, data kind of stuff in for our request so we're going to, if we uh, we are here we're going to say console the log request or something it's just going to show us that thing right that's the advantage that is spread I want <laughs> okay never mind we'll see that later on first of all let's set up our multi recording system can drive huh is it on is that on you want to say constant storage is going to be this this storage is going to be this we're gonna have first of all file name it's going to have request and risk okay it's going to have one second I was checking something here file name just okay we have the destination and the file name okay well, I'm not being very good with this th this thing, so yeah, that's why I just checked it out. We can also get npm uh, uid4. It's for creating unique IDs, unique IDs for our video. So yeah. UID for UID five NPM. Okay, generous like that. Hmm? Okay. The UID version four or just the UID? Okay. We just want the UID. Let's say constant. Or as UUID require UUID constant. What they're saying UUID v4. Oh, they're getting the version 4. Yeah. UID before. Oh, I will see you in the next video.